For this year's ZBrush Summit, we invited artists from around the globe to gather in person and stream online live to the community. We asked 3D artist and educator Anna Carolina Pereira to create custom backgrounds, animations, and set props from scratch for a completely immersive virtual experience. Anna and her team used Unreal Engine to construct all aspects of the environment in ZBrush, Substance Painter, and Cinema 4D. The team used ZModeler to develop basic primitives into practical assets. Manipulating primitives using Dynamesh allowed for expanded design possibilities. The ceiling tile design incorporated our MicroPoly feature. The roses were sculpted by hand using radial symmetry to support consistency across each petal. Anna modeled each tile using ZModeler and then applied the shapes using MicroPoly. MicroPoly in ZBrush replaces polygons with newly constructed secondary shapes or assets. In addition to ZBrush, the team used Cinema 4D to create props for the environments. Scene sculptures were collected from ZBrush Central Artists and processed using ZBrush and the Decimation Master plugin. Statues were baked and textured in Substance Painter, transferring details from high polygon meshes to low polygon meshes. Anna and her team brought the assets into Unreal Engine. They started by blocking out the environments using large primitive shapes, also known as gray boxing. The storyboard process allowed for rapid ideation and concept development while helping to realize a more dynamic scene. A very tight deadline meant most of the production process needed to happen with minimal technical hurdles. There were multiple interactive aspects to this project. The ballerina statue animation reveal, the sculpt off winner painting reveal, and the dissolving effect for the presentation models all added a level of dynamic interaction to the scene. Models are prototyped using rough animations and effects, and finally finished with sound effects. Working within a tight deadline was a motivating factor for the choices made when constructing the primary and secondary assets for the virtual ZBrush Summit. In the end, the flexibility of ZBrush's features propelled our workflow and design decisions. Taking assets from ZBrush to Cinema 4D and Substance Painter was seamless while expanding the look development of the project. If you want to find out more about how to make assets in ZBrush, check out Anna's Getting Started in ZBrush tutorial on Cineversity.